It can't be. Not now, he'd be a fucking old codger. You've seen the tape, sir. That codger just took down two heavily armed rain soldiers with his bare hands. Mobilize all units. The rain has already proven ineffective, sir. Then what do you suggest we do, Sax? Sit on our tail ends and just hope he wanders off the ranch? No, sir. We cannot allow anything to disrupt our plans. We must accelerate everything. Move the activation of the web initiative to tonight. To catch the spider, you must first release some flies. Escort us to the vault, soldier. Saxite? I thought the plan was to slowly... In times of trouble, people look for someone to save them. They're looking for you. You are responsible for this city. You must show them your strength, sir. There is no one else. And with great responsibility comes great... power. Are you ready to save them, sir? To shepherd them to safety? Will you be the one? That great man? It's no coincidence that Olympus Towers were built atop the prisons of our most feared men. It's more than a symbol. We've conquered them, sir. We're free. With the return of the old man, that freedom is compromised. Sax? Who are these creatures? Volunteers. Sinners looking for salvation. Your angels. We've been planning for something like this, sir. They've been reviewing footage since this morning. Look at the hunger in their eyes. All six of them. The Sinner Six. My God, Sex. Once we let loose those devils, the web will become a giant cage, trapping us with them. You needn't fear that, sir. There's a weapon that has conquered both devils and gods alike. Science. Microthermal explosives are being implanted into their bodies as we speak. If any of the six stray from the flock, they will be destroyed. In a fireball so great that it will tear apart even fine grains of sand or drops of water. If they serve their penance, they will be released outside of the city's walls after the web has activated. The web will keep them from returning and give the rest of the world a taste of what we have endured. Like any who seek freedom, they must earn it. For an old tomcat, you are quite the troublemaker, Jameson. Why come down from the mountain just to spook the cattle? It appears Mr. Jameson has a bad heart, sir. <laughs> That's it? Some last kick at the can before you're dead? I... I owe this city something. Your editorial cartoons died when your paper did. It was your choice. You closed up shop, sold the paper to some snake oil network execs, and they turned the Daily Bugle into one of the most respected television news networks in the country. And you know who tells them what to say? I am the voice of the D. B. N. Jonah. I am the voice of this city. Then I owe this city nothing more than to cut its throat. What an excellent idea. Liar! Liar! I know who you are! The razor cuts through tendons. Three of my fingers go dead. But it's worth it. I've waited long enough. I can't stand it anymore. Show them! Show your city the truth! Ah! What? Wait. This isn't right! Blood? Drop the knife! Shut up and shoot! Gentlemen, please. There's no need. <coughs> Mr. Jameson. I can't stop now. Too late. Too old. 
There you are. Quite. And up from the ground came a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. Blood of the earth. My hand pushes the blade deep. Too deep. He's got me now. It's only a matter of time. My patience for this behavior is wearing thin. You don't look so good, Waters. <laughs> Shut your mouth! What did he promise you? What are you in for? Money? Power? I'm doing... I'm doing what's best for everybody. Just like my daddy told me. I'm their shepherd. Yours too. Someone has to be responsible for this city. He'll smother us all, rape our souls, and you're damn right. You will be responsible. Mr. Jameson, would you please leave Mr. Waters alone? He's got quite the nasty cut. Why, I hate to think what could have happened if you had actually severed his cartoid artery. So... How long have you known? I didn't, but I had suspicions. I'm a newsman, Sax. I needed to know for sure before I could report it. Please, we can work all this out. Newsman! Even back then, you treated Eddie like garbage. You remember Eddie, right? He's still a part of me. I've helped him grow as a person, become a better man, but he remembers what you were. Liar! Snake! Show me! Show us all! Oh, all right. Please, we can work this out. My god! Yes, I am. Sir, his... S sir everything all right? Open your eyes, you damn fools! No, everything is not all right. We can work all this out. You've changed. We all changed, Jonah. You grew old. I grew lonely and hungry. Sax, please! This isn't what we talked about. SILENCE! This is exactly what we talked about. The first part, anyway. It's time for phase two! Phase two? I've invited guests for dinner tonight! Can you hear them knocking? Well, well, well. Look who's come crawling back. It's been a long time, lover. I heard you're single again. Never did keep him around for long, did you? Stop. You were always talking so much about responsibility and power. You didn't want them anymore, Peter. So I took them both. Something wrong? Not enjoying my little gift? Surprise, surprise! It was so easy to find someone like Waters! Together, we did what you could only dream of! We saved this city from itself! Jealous? This... this whole thing is about me? Yes! That's it. My whole existence is about you. Why would you never think that, Parker? Could it be because you brought me home, lured me from another world, and left me to die? Look at me, Parker! I am the one responsibility you shirked! You brought me to this city and made me its prisoner! I never thought... No, you didn't. How could the world revolves around my existence, Peter Parker? <laughs>